All right, this one's gonna be for W3M users and Tmux users. Uh, we're gonna use this little script I created to spawn in VOC. Um, you know, when we're using our command line web browser. This, so this one is kind of like a browser extension, but uh, not really. We're using existing tools here. Anyway, I'll show you what it looks like here. So I'm gonna bust out my surf raw, and I'm gonna search from our LVs. So this one's open directories music. And I'm gonna do searching for Madonna stuff, All right? Anyway, so let's jump to number 27 here. And you know when I find one of these open directories, um, and they host like you know music or videos, I want to preview it before I download it, or you know if I want to do something with it, I want to listen to the quality if it's an audio, if it's a video, I want to see you know the the high res it has whatever and I want to sample it before I download it right so to sample it uh, we're gonna actually use NVLC to stream it to us so we're not actually downloading it we're just streaming it right anyways how does it look like when we're doing this uh, what is the high key for this uh, number eight here right and we're just gonna you know run our script here which I'll show you in a minute but number eight so I use eight and then brackets is my custom hotkey but I'll show you what the default is later on so I use 8 and bracket and this one will spawn it into a new team mux session and it will play um, or it will grab all the URLs that has like mp3s or you know um, mp4s uh, ABI's you know so on and so forth you can actually use any extensions you want but I mainly use this for audio and video and I can stream it, so you stream right now, although you're not hearing anything because uh, you know I don't want to copyright. And you actually select different songs uh, from that list that we generated, right? And there you go, it's actually streaming it, we're not actually downloading anything. And once you're done, um, you know, quit out of it and it'll go back to where we were. And we can still browse uh, like we normally do. And let's go on to another one here. Um, 32 here. Right, we we'll jump to that, and then we can do the same thing again. We we'll do like eight and bracket here, and it'll actually create another uh, playlist based on you know the page that we're on. And you see that it just uh, basically extracts all the uh, URL that has you know our extension that meets uh, our uh, our scripts matching. And you see that on the, all the MP3s are in here, and we can listen to it, you know, and preview it. And then once you you know you like it you can actually download it using another script or something like that um, so that's my thing that I use here um, really quick just a few hotkeys and I'll spawn it and I can listen to it or do whatever I want with it um, so how do you set this up real simple let's bust out our script here first um, actually just go to W3M configurations here so like I said we're using uh, was that uh, external browser 8 here it can be any number but we're using 8 here right and the first thing is uh, since we're already using tmux we are gonna use tmux here set buffer to zero basically this will copy it to your tmux clipboard so if you're using this in a server environment or something like that or a headless environment um, you can actually use this without like an uh, an X session because we're using just Tmux as our clipboard manager, right? And you know, W3M, you know, it doesn't really need any GUI. Now, uh, NVLC is a little tricky because, uh, you know, you have to install VLC and it's not a separate package, I don't believe. But in reality, we're not really using the GUI VLC, we're just using NCURS uh, VLC, right? But uh, basically what it does is that it will copy this to the TMUX clipboard. This is what it's doing here. The dollar sign zero is your URL, right? Um, basically that's our you know URL variable or whatever it is um, that will actually be copied when you're on that page. And from there, um, it will actually run our script here, right? And what does our script look like? We are gonna go to... Um, Spell it right here. What was that one? Vim and VLC. And there we go. That's the one here. 
And this one is not that long. It's like four or five lines of code or whatever. Um, we're going to use W3M to dump uh, whatever it is. So this one's using Tmux show buffer, aka pasting the link that we've copied already. And then it's just going to awk out, you know, uh, and grab out the. Um, the extensions that we want so if it ends in mp4 avis blah 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 blah, you get the id here if it's a video or an audio um it'll actually create a playlist based on that right and from there we're actually using uh tmux to create a new window and we're going to call this one uh w3m play and from there we're going to execute uh vlc or incurs vlc with that playlist right and um, once you exit, it will actually just kill the paint itself. And that is it. That's the script, really, that uh, you put, you know, into our um, our little command here that we have in uh, W3M here, right? Um, so pretty much that's it. You know, you don't you don't actually have to have uh, an X session running. I don't believe. Although, you know, like I said, uh, VLC is a little tricky because we're, we're using Encurse VLC. Although you still have to install the um, the uh, the whole GUI just to use the Encurse. Anyways, um, that's what I've been using for, you know, previewing audio or video. If I find a feed for that. Or not a feed, I mean a URL here. And I use that mainly in my RSS. Uh, I have a... Or I follow the... Um, subreddit where they uh, post uh, open directories like in here let's say search for music here All right so they have like some music in here and where's the music this is flack and blah 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 okay here's some French and, and stuff like that so like in here I can spawn uh, w3m as my URL viewer I talked about this a while back. I'll post you in a video in the description if you missed it, but I can spawn W3M as my viewer and I can go to that link here, link two, I believe that's the one. And we'll go into it. And there you go. See, this one's a bunch of music. And I can go in here and look at this here. There's a bunch of MP3s. Okay, I can do the same thing. I do eight and then, you know, bracket here. And then I can listen to it uh, without like opening a GUI web browser or anything. And um, once I'm done, you know, I can quit out of this. And I'm back to this thing here. And I can quit out of this. I'm back to my, you know, RSS reader, these boat here. All right. So I can do this real quick from here. Uh, let's do one for uh, movies because they have like, what is that, music videos here too? Okay. We'll go to that one. And hopefully it doesn't lag or anything. But let's see here. So here it's a bunch of MP4s here. All right, let's do that again here. Eight in brackets, and it can do videos. Like I said, uh, this one might be a little slow depending on you know which server you're connecting to, but you get the idea. You can do uh, videos or um, or audio doesn't matter, right? Um, so that's pretty much it for that. And once you quit out of it, uh, you're back to you know reading your RSS here right not a big deal right uh, just a couple of hotkeys anyways that's what I've been using and oh yeah I forgot to talk about the hotkeys because I changed my hotkeys uh, a little bit where's that key mapping here um, so I think the default for this is shift and M right or uh, if you're using a number you do uh, two shift and M or something like that uh, I use the um, was that uh, closing brackets here for an X turn and you can do this one for the URL that you're on um, and that one would be what was that one escape shift and M again I, I recommend you change your hotkeys for that cuz who the fuck wants to use shift and M and escape M and all that shit just using one hotkeys is better anyways um, that's how you will set it up and you know it's really convenient if you're into looking at uh, open directories and just spawning um, you know NVLC just to hear how the music is or if you want to download one of those videos you want to see the quality um, so that's kind of like my little uh, browser extensions to stream videos or audio 
you know using with existing tools that we're already using and again this one is mainly heavy towards uh, tmux because it's much quicker to do with tmux you can spawn a new one and quit out of it real quick and tmux also has a built-in clipboard manager so you're not really relying on uh, an x session so essentially you can use this like i said on a headless server you can remote to it whatever um anyways that is it for this one